Congratulations! You just succeeded the first part of my fake tutorial. Okay. Um, I shouldn't just be refining your face. I really should be working on the whole body along the way. Don't just do like a head and then work on the body later. I know it's more fun, but um, you find that by doing that, your faces won't match. Nothing will match. It's gonna look like like that. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, you need know, to refine the face. Um, one thing you should do is flip it back and forth, because then you'll point, find out hideous mistakes that you never noticed before, like those eyes. Let me say, um, to learn how to paint a pony like this, don't do your eyelashes yet. Oh my gosh. To learn to paint a pony like this, I had to definitely learn how to paint how human faces work because these are so anthropomorphic like how eyelids look and see how they got a little shine there gosh and how eyebrows ridges fall down and all that um, because without it I'll be referencing simply from a freaking vector and it's never gonna look good now you don't know why I love Trixie so much. She is so cool. Now, see, she reminds me of a character I made up as a joke to intimidate my friend. She's like a troll character that I made. Not a homestuck troll, jeez. No, I mean a tr character to troll my friend. See, my friends like anime. I don't. And they wanted to make this manga. I mean, none of them are really artistically awesome or anything. Yeah, none of them are really. Okay, none of them really draw, but they think that anime is easy to draw, so they, um, like, learn to paint it. Oh, let me draw it. Jeez, it's full of paint. My brain is made of paint. Yeah, he's, you know, he invited me to make a character for his comic and this manga, and, um, their characters are complete Mary Sue's. They were like, I'm awesome the vampire dude and I am immortal and blah blah blah. I thought that was the most annoying thing. And then anyway, they told me, you can make a character so you can be like a background character, huh? This is how I do shiny eyes, by the way. I don't like to overdo it. Overdoing it makes it look so cheesy. Don't make it cheesy. Please, that look a little too don't I don't match the size of the shine. Look at someone's eyes and you'll find the shine do not match. Not nice. There's no signs of shine. Just look at how the balls look at something. I do a little shine on the wire eyes. Eye eye white sometimes, so yeah. But yeah, the character made up, I thought, you know, I'll have fun and create a character that's even more Mary Sueish, Gary Stewish than theirs and came up with my Signature character, the bitch wizard. Yeah, that's one of a few times I like to say that. Because she was a wizard. She was awesome at everything. She was the best spell person. And she had this obnoxious look about her. Like, she was hilariously awesome, in my opinion. I love her. And yeah. Well, let me say that the, po the characters they made up were actually self inserts. Like, you know. Self insert characters and that's so annoying. So I made mine a self insert as well and then it turned to be her own being and now she looks completely amazing. Yes, you see the like me back there. Anyway, that's the whole canvas. She's looking mighty scary here. I think my style is mildly modified here. Anyway. Yeah. A real horse looks like. So you don't really actually learn anything in this video. But it's really calming to watch, isn't it? Oh yeah. Anyway, I think I might add a uh, uh, level of refining takes you know see look at this. See that shade of blue um, in what I'm circling here? Whoops. See that? That shade of blue on her forehead and that cheek there and the eyebrow? That's the original color I had in the start. 
there really wasn't that much many layers of paint that I had to add to this piece. Um, pony. Really, there wasn't much to do. There wasn't much to add. Sometimes less is more. This isn't really a, that realistic of a style. I could make it more realistic, but that's just getting a bit too pedantic about ponies. So, yeah. Just see the goal with this style that I came up with is to make a My Little Pony real, but not too real, because real ponies are better than My Little Pony. No, <laughs> that's horrible of me to say. I lose so many viewers. <laughs> And then no one will love me. Okay. Actually, I could get rid of that sketch. Now it looks so much cleaner. I only kept the hair there because I wanted to be reminded it was Trixie. So I like Trixie. I'm going to keep saying that because that's just something really creepy. No, I like Celestia as well. You should know that. If you're a fan of mine, you should know that I love Celestia. In fact, I'm still hoping that one day I could have one of those blind bag ones. Like the blind bag, oh, yeah, a blind bag, um, Celestia, and I was just thinking just then, a blind bag, Rula Moon. What's her name? Trixie Rula Moon. That's a good name. Okay, so, yeah, um, one of the time you're doing refining, don't do a hard edge like that, but I think that looks kind of awkward. Unless you're trying to be stylistic about it. But I don't think it, I wouldn't do that. Actually, don't listen to what I say. Do your own thing. Learn to paint. It's good. It's a comedy. You shouldn't be saying, oh, i got to do it exactly like this. Develop your own style. Um, I like to put a little highlight on the corners of things, like the nose and on the cheeks and the mouth corner there, because I think it just gives it a little kick. I don't think I shaded that nose very well. I think it looks a bit flat. And un 3 d ish. I'm not very good at shading the nose. I probably should work on that. See, like that little dimple there? It's not really a dimple, it's actually just the corner crease of the mouth. But that sort of thing you learn when you learn to paint human faces, with shading and drawing human faces. A lot of this is human inspired. Nobody knows that. And nobody gets that. Come on, it's a pony. A fake pony. An imaginary pony. See that thing, that pink thing I did in the corner? That was me trying to be cool and try to do an eyelid. I failed. Totally failed. Don't do that. Learn to draw eyes properly. I'm still learning how to draw eyes properly. Look at human eyes. Ugh. Look at human eyes. I'm going to learn how to do that. Okay. This is probably one of the more entertaining than educational videos on the internet. I think it's very entertaining to watch painters paint. Painters have a lot about stuff. I think I should do this more often. You know, I hear people in the crowd saying, No, please, no, just do your normal paintings. You're terrible at these tutorials. Which I must point out again, this is not a tutorial. But yeah. Okay, next video, I'm going to do a hair video. I think I'll do that. That'll be Trixie's hair right here. I like Trixie. Yeah, um, I, don't, I say don't darken the eyes too much, unless you really want them to really stand out. Like right now, she looks like she's got some eyeliner on. I don't want her to have eyeliner. I think that's all we're doing right there. Um, yeah, that looks fine. You leave it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's basic. If you got hair on, don't give no, don't forget to give it a shadow under your head because that's gonna help tremendously. Um doing horns and wings. Wings, not wings. Horns and wings. I'll have to do another video if you actually care. Um which I'm sure someone will. I'm pretty sure there's someone out there who enjoys watching videos like these. And now I'm going to do her eyebrows. That's just that there. That there is her eyebrow crease. Like, when someone's mad, they'll have this crease thing on their eye. Really, go look at human faces. Stop drawing ponies and start drawing real things. Important things. 
Especially if you're going to do like animation or something. You gotta learn how to draw real things. Don't just draw ponies. Please don't draw ponies. Like, I'm only drawing them so much because I'm getting paid to do it. But, ugh. Why did I point out again? I love her eyebrows. They're so unponyish. They're so. If I, like, did something, like, covered up the face, like, all the background, I would get a human face with a giant nose. And that's it for now. I haven't finished the face. I mean, I gotta do the channel, which will be in shade, because that's. Don't do that. Oh my gosh, I just realized I'm the wrong way. Uh, horrible. Okay. There might be a stronger shadow. Who knows? Try to make everything else, as in like shadows cast sort of thing. Um. You might ruin it sometime if you don't. Yeah. Oh, well, I also like to put a highlight. It's on the lip. Like, you, like, like if you've got, like, lips are not, um, dry. They're actually the most wet part of your face, besides your eyeballs. So, add a bit of, um, touch to that. And with the teeth, rather than leaving them that gray and dull, you can actually give them a bit of a shine as well. But actually, that makes me realize, don't make the lips more shiny than the teeth, because then you'll know there's some dental work that needs to be done. I'm a dentist! I love that song. That guy was the best. He's another obnoxious guy that I like. Character. I love that guy, seriously. He's the guy in um, Little Shop of Horrors. The dentist. Oh my gosh. You can tell I really like the most obnoxious characters. I'm saying that. They can whoop your ass, and they're my faves. Um, pinkish tongue, this is shadow. Don't worry about it too much. Just give it two strokes, like I just did with 16%. I haven't changed the opacity at all. I just realized that the brush density is at 16%. Everything is fine. I um, should correct myself now. I could actually change the brush more often. But, you know, look at the other videos and see what I did there. But this is pretty good for always sticking 16%. Means I'm getting better. And that is all for now.